part of John's job and part of the Iranian negotiator's job and part of the uh, P5 plus one's job uh, is to sometimes find formulas that get to our main concerns while allowing the other side to uh, make a, a presentation to their body politic that uh, is more acceptable. Our main concern here is making sure that uh, if Iran doesn't abide by its agreement, that we don't have to jump through a whole bunch of hoops in order to reinstate sanctions. President Obama today saying he's open to allowing Iran to get immediate sanctions relief in this negotiation as it continues in order to make it more palatable for Tehran. We're back with the panel. We'll start there in the lightning round. Charles. I'm glad you led the show with that because I think everybody else missed that. Everybody is talking about Obama's answer on the Corker Amendment. That is irrelevant. What Obama said there was earth shattering. He basically said when the Ayatollah said, I will not accept an agreement where you don't lift s sanctions the day it's signed, and our position has always been that's never going to happen. There has to be a gradual relaxation only after the IEA has said that you have done what you're supposed to do. This is a cave. He's essentially saying, well, really, all I really care about now is that I can snap the sanctions again if you cheat, which, of course, is never going to happen. But he's essentially, as you say, he's given away or appears to be preparing the way to give away, which appeared to, appeared to be a non-negotiable demand on our part, gradual relaxation of sanctions. This is an awful moment. Kirsten. Well, yeah, I think we, when, if you remember the 